Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and this is my What Causes Cervical Vertigo Deep Dive series. Today, we're going to focus on the facet joints. These are small joints in your upper neck, about the size of a finger joint, and there are two at each level uh, and one on each side. Now, if we dive into the cervical facet joints that we know cause dizziness, C23 is the main player. But it's also likely that C12 and C0C1 can also play along. So what happens? Well, these joints can become injured just like any other joint. Usually that's in a car crash or head trauma. These joints can also become arthritic, uh, just like any other joint. And in this case, they can cause headache pain, but they also can cause dizziness and imbalance. Now, the way to fix this is to fix the joint. Uh, now, sometimes doctors will want to inject high-dose corticosteroid into the joint, but that can damage the joint long-term. So we don't do that. We focus on injecting your own platelet-rich plasma to try to prompt the joint to heal rather than uh, injecting high-dose corticosteroid, which can hurt the joint. So there are other ways to go, other things you can try, uh, but I wanted to make sure you understood that cervical facet joints, and in particular, upper cervical facet joints, are a big player in cervical vertigo or cervicogenic dizziness. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.